Hello YouTube. Today we're going to talk about where to find, open, and test laptop batteries. My recommendation on buying batteries is if you're going to buy them where you have to open them up, test them, you don't want to pay more than 20 cents a battery. If you go on YouTube, those guys are asking ridiculous prices for batteries that may not be any good. I bought one lot of batteries off of eBay a couple of years ago, and 90% uh, of the batteries weren't worth the, my time. And, uh, of course, I want batteries that will test above 2 amps. And so anything below that is a waste of my time. I've got tons of batteries that, that test in the 1700 milliamps and 1800 milliamps. And I have just got through selling 500 of the 1900 milliamps uh, batteries because I just don't have room for them, number one. And uh, I've got plenty of extras for, for doing projects. But for my van, I want batteries that test almost new or new. And uh, where can you find these batteries? Well, let me tell you a story. One day I went to the Batter Batteries Plus store to uh, take some bad batteries I had to get rid of them. And while I was there, I noticed uh, a van pull up. And... The guy got out and he opened up the back of the van and it was full of laptop batteries that they were going to turn into the recycler there. Batteries Plus is a recycler and that's where I take all my bad batteries. And I asked the guy, well, I saw the logo on the side of the van, it was a junior college near me, and I said, where are all those laptop batteries come from? And he says, oh, we replace all the laptop batteries in our leased uh, laptops. The students lease every year. He says we can't lease them with old batteries in them. And so I said, hmm. So I went into the Batteries Plus place and I said, will you sell me all the batteries that he's turning in? He says, no, we don't sell recycled batteries. And I said, well, can I talk to your manager? And he gave me his number and the manager wasn't there, of course. So I give the manager a call. And I leave a message. And then next day, the manager called me back, and I told him I was interested in uh, getting all those batteries. That truck had dropped off 300 of these batteries. And, and inside each of the batteries, there's 12 batteries. And uh, I said, I'm willing to, to pay cash for these batteries. And he says, yeah, I can sell them to you. This is not normal practice. No one ever wants them. I said, well, I'm interested, all 300 of them, I'll give you $300, a dollar a piece. He says, normally, I think uh, we sell that by the pound, but if you'll give me $300, I'll take it. So I got my car, I shut back up there, and I bought 300 of these batteries. So there's 12 batteries inside each one of these laptop batteries. So that's 3,200 batteries I bought all at once for $300. Okay, that's how you take them all apart. Um, I won't bore you watching any more of that. It takes about 20 minutes to uh, crack them open, get them out of there, and uh, clean them just good enough so they can go in the charger. Uh, all the ones that test above 200 milliamps, uh, I then recharge them and I have to re-heat shrink them because if you noticed, I know the video isn't very good, but uh, that black glue that I'm scraping off of them after I get all the tape off, uh, it damages the heat shrink really bad. And uh, I don't feel comfortable put them in a holder uh, with all that metal uh, showing. So uh, I have to clean all the black stuff off. I test them, the ones that pass the test, put heat shrink on and recharge them. And uh, then I test them and that's what we're gonna look at now. Well, batteries. 
Here you're looking at a charging station I built and all it is is plastic uh, construction material um, that uh, I've glued the holders and the chips on. These chips are the TP4056 chips. I'll try to leave, leave a link to these chips online. They're very inexpensive. Um, and uh, these require five volts in and they manage the charge for each of the individual cells. The power supply is an old computer power supply. There are three outs on these old power supplies, even the new ones. There's a, a 3.5 volt, a 5 volt, and a 12.3 um, volt. On the red wires coming out of the power supply is the the uh, five volt and that's what these chips need you just connect it up this power supply is in 300 watt so it'll at five volts it'll put out about 20 amps it it can uh, power uh, 20 of these uh, cells here is um, <clears throat> some of the equipment you may want to consider uh, the chips down below, you see they're only $1.86 per 10, so, uh, and these are free shipping. So if uh, you want to purchase some of those, uh, you order two of these, they give you 20 for less than $5. Um, the tester that I use is the Fox Novo. Two and a half years ago, when I started messing with these batteries, Fox Novo, Novo is about the only one, and I've got five of these. I've tested over 3,000 batteries in them. I've never had a lick of problem out of them. I highly recommend them. However, there's a fellow called Average Joe that's building a power wall for his house, and he has Fox Novo, and he says he's never had a problem with them either, but he just did a review on these X-Star. The X-Star actually has a feature, the Fox Novo, where we measure the resistance in each cell. The Fox Novo does not. Uh, but uh, the X-Star uh, also will test your batteries. It's a little bit cheaper for those. But uh, I can't recommend them. I've never used them. I've only used the Fox Novo. Here are the Fox Novo testers. Uh, they're all loaded with batteries. They're in the uh, testing process. Notice at the top that the indicator going to the left in the case that it's they're under load of one amp. You can see there in the middle where it says one amp. You can test it half an amp or one amp. The bottom number is the capacity is tested out of the battery and the center uh, number is the actual voltage during this testing process. When the charging process is over, the, they actually charge the batteries all the way back up. And if you'll notice on the bottom, it retains the total capacity of the previous test. So when you go pull, before you pull them out, I just take one out at a time and put the, uh, the capacity on the battery itself. So I always know what each battery tests. These all tested really nice. They tested between uh, 2000 to 22. So this was a really good batch of batteries out of uh, this last uh, uh, pack that I tore apart. In this image, the battery that's laying down there has been heat shrink with a clear heat shrink. And uh, all heat shrink is not equal. I will show you where I get my heat shrink. This next image, uh, I just want to show you or inform you if you don't know. The way these 18650 batteries are made is that this whole top ring on the outside is ground. And the only positive part of this battery is this node that sticks up and down to where it seals in. When these batteries start getting a high resistance and they start getting some heat and expanding, uh, they blow a seal. And I've had batteries that I've tested good and then I pull the, the gasket off and I find corrosion around here. That indicates that the seal 
uh, has busted and these batteries are spewing a uh, chemical out of it. So it's good to inspect around this area very closely before you put them in your packs to make sure you don't have a battery that maybe is on the verge of failing. This last image is from a, a company called Fastec. This company uh, provides all types of heat shrink. There's nothing more irritating to go to Home Depot and buy a little package of six pieces of heat shrink, three inches long, and they want to charge you six or seven dollars. You can get a whole roll of any size of heat shrink you want from this site at a very reasonable price. But I'm showing you these uh, heat shrinks that are pre-cut for these 18650 cells are very reasonable. If you buy these in bulk, I bought 16 of these 50 uh, cell packs and I paid like $11 for uh, all 16. That's 800 um, uh, heat shrinks. And it's a lot easier, you don't have to cut them and uh, it makes the job much easier and they're very, very reasonable. Um, that's all I got today. I uh, hope uh, this was informative. If uh, you have any questions, leave them below. Until next time, check you later.